Okay, let's start this presentation about how to do video stabilization from of uh, drone footage. Uh, and I want to address both why this is required, at least in some cases, and one approach for, for doing it. And uh, the basic um, reason for, for doing a video stabilization when analyzing images from a, a UAV is that it makes life much simpler in uh, many cases. Um, and one example of, of what can be achieved by analyzing drone footage video is uh, the following video that um, Czech, Czech uh, company from the Czech Republic has uh, analyzed from uh, drone footage in, in Copenhagen of some kind of intersection. Um, and what you can see here is that the, um, the system is able to track individual cars and bicycles and, and so on inside this, um, this video. But please also notice that there is this uh, black uh, edges of, of the analyzed video and um, that's not without a reason because it's an artifact from the analysis of the video where the company actually have stabilized the video. And while that's required, let's take a look at this and uh, see how we can, can go on from, from there. So let's look at some example footage that has not been uh, stabilized, which will be uh, this recording. It's from the central intersection in uh, Odense where we have, uh, what is it known, uh, ring two going from the lower left to the upper right and in the opposite direction we have um, Sunna Boulevard. And can we see it once again? If you pay attention to, to the video here you might be able to see that even if the field of view is more or less the same, there are some slight motions uh, moving of, of uh, different parts of the of the video, and that becomes problematic if we want to analyze it using an approach like uh, background subtraction. So let's see how that uh, actually looks like when we perform background subtraction on this video uh, without uh, thinking much more about it. And back background subtraction detects all of these tiny movements and for this this video in particular it detects motion all over the place both the moving cars but also the background that is moving because the field of view of, of the camera is uh, changed during the, the recording and that's actually quite problematic for for analyzing videos in, in this way it seems like over time it, it becomes a bit better because uh, the background subtractor learns a bit about the, the background of, of this uh, image sequence and the uh, cars are still standing out, but it can actually be, be much better. So um, the flow that, or the data flow that I assume that uh, data from Sky is utilizing uh, will be first to stabilize the video, then do some background subtraction to detect whatever is moving in the scene, and finally to track these moving objects. And uh, let's see the result after stabilizing a video and then performing background subtraction. And that should be uh, visible here. Oh, first of all, I, I want to demonstrate you to you the the actual stabilized video. In a moment we'll talk about how to stabilize a video like this, um, but pay attention to the uh, edges of, of, the, of the video, especially the upper right edge, um, where I think you will see some, uh, some black part of that in, in just a moment that is uh, moving. Um, it actually might be a bit clearer to see just in, in the upper part um, where we have a, 
a black stripe across the, the entire image and now the uh, upper right part is also uh, beginning to, to get uh, black and that's an artifact from uh, stabilizing the video um, and now let's see how it looks like when we perform background subtraction on this stabilized video and right here there are still a significant amount of noise in the background when doing a background subtraction but try to compare this with the amount of uh, noise in the original video that was taken through uh, background subtraction I think this is an immense uh, improvement of, of the video at, at this stage and from here we should uh, take a look at first of all how to stabilize the video and afterwards in, in the mini project we'll be running next week you should start to track uh, the moving vehicles in, in, a, in a video like this Good. so this part about stabilizing video will be covered today in this lecture background subtraction we talked about last week and finally to track moving objects it was partly covered uh, Tuesday this week where we talked about Kalman filters um, Kalman filters is one way of tracking uh, moving objects and that will also be part of the, the mini project that you will look into next week